Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another installment of Overkill Reviews, Banger TV's weekly heavy metal review show. I'm Dylan Gowan, and this is my basement, where I've been spending uh, the majority of the uh, coronavirus pandemic uh, here just f***ing, 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 just trying to be as f***ing as f***ing, uh, throughout this whole uh, quarantine. And uh, if you're new to the channel, hello, welcome. Uh, be sure to f***ing, f***ing, subscribe and um, be sure to check out our ongoing uh, Patreon campaign. Now, today I'm here to talk about one of the most prominent and more most anticipated uh, album within folk metal. It's the brand new studio album by Ensiferum called Thlasic, which is out today on Metal Blade Records. Now, Thlasic is an ancient Greek word. It means of or relating to the sea, which is the overarching theme of this album. Now, if you don't know who Ensiferum are, let me tell you a little bit about them. Ensiferum formed in 1995 in Helsinki, Finland, and 2020 marks the 25th year anniversary of the band. Now, Ensiferum is a band that I discovered way back in high school. In fact, uh, they are the second metal band I ever saw live, and I still have the, um, the ticket stub from that show. Yeah, this is back in 2009, so they must have been promoting the uh, From Afar record. And I think that's the show with um, XDO, Swashbuckle, and Blackguard. And I still look back on that show as being uh, one of my favorite metal shows I ever got to see. What's great about their live shows is they bring a ton of energy, tons of crowd participation. They just know how to put on a great live show. That comes with just being very strong songwriters and just knowing how to incorporate the folk instrumentation, not as a gimmick, but as something that they can use to elevate their songs. Despite me being a fan of Ensiferum, I think the last couple of releases haven't been as strong as records like From Afar, but I'm hoping that Thelastic is one that kind of brings them back to that level of songwriting. So, does the new album do that? Let's find out. There are three factors that make this a very strong release, and that's their songwriting, their newest edition of Pekka, and their old producer Yanni. Just diving into the songwriting, there are definitely some uh, notable highlights, which are, of course, the two singles being um, Andromeda and uh, Rum Woman Victory. Both have very catchy choruses, love the trading of clean singing and growling. Uh, the riffs really keep you engaged. The drumming's great. Everything seems to be locked in together. And the production and the mix, you can basically hear everything and it's very clean. That's what's great about this one. It's not... Uh, bludgeoning you to death with orchestrations and you're trying to hear what the guitars are doing. And what I've noticed about this release is that they've kind of pulled back a lot of the orchestrations on this release, except for um, their last song, Cold Northland. Since they use orchestrations a lot less on this release, when they do come up in the songs, it's used a lot more effectively and it's not used as kind of a crutch within their songwriting. And that's what's great about Insufirum on this release is that they don't necessarily drag out certain sections to kind of get to the good part. It feels like you're always in great anticipation for uh, the next part. So it keeps you musically um, engaged from from the start of this album all the way to the end. And then of course, you can't talk about a folk metal album without great folk instrumentation and that you hear that through uh, from Sirens and Midsummer Magic. And of course, uh, One with the Sea. They're both fun. They've got a really cool dynamic, um, dynamic flow to both of them. Uh, some of the folk... Um, uh, parts in these uh, in these songs are very uh, I don't know why they kind of reminded me a little bit of Quentin Tarantino uh, film soundtracks um, no idea why I definitely know that was not the um, interpretation of the songs when it came to the uh, the writing of this record but I just thought it was kind of a weird um, uh, coincidence that it kind of took me in that direction <laughs> 
And also what was great about Rum Woman Victory is, of course, the inclusion of their fans in that music video. It's a nice idea to incorporate your fans in a video and it keeps them engaged. You know, everything's kind of uh, bizarre and it's difficult. And luckily, this was kind of a welcome change for a lot of people just to kind of have their minds off of everything that was going on for just a brief moment. So in Sephirum, great job as always. Now, if you're not really familiar with Insafirum, it feels like sometimes that they can kind of stick to old formulas. And I would kind of agree to some extent, but I think this time around, like I said, it's more of it's more of a stripped down version of Insafirum. So if you're a fan of the kind of uh, bombastic orchestrations within their songwriting, you're not going to really find it here on this release. So some people might be disappointed in that regard, but there's a lot of really cool uh, references to old material that's going to make old fans very happy. Again, you can't please everybody, right? It's also kind of frustrating to see that Yari's name is still mentioned when it comes to Insafirum, even though he hasn't been in the band for a while. Keep in mind, though, he was a huge part of the band's growth, but I think Pete definitely does a really good job when it comes to the songwriting of this band. Um, well, I know his name is Petrie, but everyone calls him Pete. <laughs> <laughs> Again, he delivers a very strong performance, much like with everybody else in Insafirum. So there's not really too many negative things to say about this release. So what do I think of Thalassic? Well, it's got great production, songwriting's great, uh, the addition of Pekka is one that helps elevate the songs to a new level, and Yanni's uh, coaching and um, production chops really help with this release as well. That's why this new album by Insafirum, for me, definitely gets a solid four out of five skulls. All right, it's time for the shout outs. outs. Here are two progressive metal albums uh, I know I've been looking forward to, and I know I'm gonna take a listen to them after, uh, after I finish recording this review. First up, we have Hawkins' new album, Virus, which comes out today on Inside Out Music. And of course, we have Voivod with their brand new EP, The End of Dormancy, which comes out on Century Media. So what did you think of Ensafirum's new album? Let me know in the comments section below, and uh, I'm gonna take my, uh, my dog for a walk. He and I are kind of sharing the same haircut at the moment. So uh, until next time, guys, see you soon. Bye-bye.